explosion gift, but I don't didn't... know. Some of them got across and some are in the river. Let's get them out, Sierra. <laughs> safe squares everything. How'd you come out, Buckskin? Well, Jim, we got most of the overland equipment across, but the mail's still on the other side. Oh, I've got to get that across before the Indians come. I'll go with you. No, no, you and Sierra stay here and get things organized. Like they'll soon be rolling again. I hope they get the mails through. If they destroy any more of my overland equipment, I'll lose the mail franchise. Oh, it, it can't be that bad. Well, I'm afraid it is. The loss of those cattle didn't help any. Well, remember, Gilbert, my offer of $10,000 for an interest in your company still holds good. Thanks, Chadwick, but I can get it from the bank. <laughs> Take your gear. We're going to try to ford the river here. I ain't driving this wagon into that. But you got the mail in that wagon. Who cares? I'm not risking my neck for any mail. All right, you ride my horse. I'll drive the wagon. The mail's got to go through. Look, you read them Indian signals? Yeah. The Indians are bunching to attack us. Come on, men, get rolling. We gotta get across the river before those Indians get here. I'll drive this wagon and take us to rear.
try that crossing again. No, sir, I'm thinking they had it plenty for today. Jerry, you and Buckskin get the wagons in order and get them rolling. Oh, they're as good as rolling now. Yeah, I get them. Yeah, fine work, Lane. Bring that mail across under fire. Yeah. We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> Miss Barbara, you and your father better get aboard. See you. All right, Mr. Gilbert. Better, thank you. Over. Well, I'll get it. So what's on your mind? Well, after talking it over with Buckskin and Sierra, we've decided to go to work for you. Oh, I hoped you would. Well, that's fine. But there's one condition. Condition? We get to manage all of your field operations. Lane, I'm accepting you on your own terms. Okay. When do we start? Tomorrow morning. Now, your first job will be to take the Pony Express rider's place and deliver $10,000 to Morton in La Paz. $10,000? Yes, it's a loan from the bank. To buy my new equipment, I gave them a note and some of my overland holdings for security. You mean that if you lost that $10,000, that it'd just about ruin me? So you see how badly we need you, Mr. Lamb. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Williams. Oh, hello, Mr. Chadwick. Well, how have been this? Hi. Well, I'm glad to hear that, because I'm going to have to draw about $20,000 out of my account. I need it pretty badly. Chadwick, <clears throat> there's your note. Yeah, fine. Carson will be here in just a minute with the money. He had to get it out of my safe at the freight office. Now, I appreciate your helping me this way. You know, when Williams wouldn't let me have the money, I immediately thought of your offer. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Here's the money. $10,000. Yeah, well, there you are, Gilbert. Thanks, Chadwick. <laughs> that does it all right. Should I hand it to you, Chadwick? Sure, plenty smart. Draining your money out of the bank so they wouldn't have enough cash on hand to loan Gilbert that 10000 he wanted. Yes, it has taken plenty of smart tricks to put Gilbert's Overland Company up against it. But it's going to take a lot more before I get hold of that million dollar mail franchise. You'd have had Overland out of business by now if it hadn't been for Lane and those partners of his. We've still got a chance to get rid of Lane. He's riding the Pony Express to Pad in the morning with that $10,000. It's your job to stop him and get back that money. riding the Pony Express to the Pass tomorrow morning. He's got to be stopped. What's he carrying? $10,000 here to bring back to Chadwick. How much of it do I get? Chadwick will decide that. And remember, it's got to look like an Indian job. You know, sometimes I think that gym is plumb local, making us stay way out here in Eagle Pass all night. And what in thunder do you want to bring his horse and spare clothes over for? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, he ought to go out to California. That'd do him a lot of good. <laughs> He's coming now. Hi, Jim. Oh, boy. Give me a hand here. We gotta hurry. Well, Jim, what's the idea of them spare clothes? Yeah, what's this all about, anyway? Every express rider that's been killed has gotten it between here and Bear Lake. And I'm not gonna get it. Go get me some brush. Well, what you gonna do? Lane's coming. He just rode in the other end of the pass. Here he comes. Remember, we want to capture my life for Black Cloud.
get up for gun down. Tell you want to catch Lane alive. You won't have to worry too much about killing Lane. This is a dummy. Him no dummy. We dummy. Lane must have taken the law trail. Let's ride back and find out. Hey, that dummy sure fooled them hombres. That's what I was hoping. Coming back all right. That ambush sure worked, didn't it? I'll get the horses and we'll catch them two hombres that got away. Ah, uh, let them go. One of them engines you dropped is still alive. Maybe we can find out something from him. Come on. Thanks. Take it easy. We'll get you to a doctor. No. I got too much lead. You'll never get me to a doctor. Well, why were you chasing me? I worked for Puma. Try to put Overland out of business. Stampede cattle in Fox Canyon. Rick Stage. Yeah, but hmm. who does Puma work for? Puma? Puma worked for Ford. Well, that hombre talked plenty, but he didn't tell us nothing. Yeah. He was our one chance to find out who's behind that Overland trouble. Well, anyways, he told us where to look for them cattle. Do you know where Box Canyon is? Sure. I can take you right to it. Good. We'll take that money right to La Paz. Then we'll go see if Gilbert's cattle really are in Box Canyon. What's the idea coming this way, Buckskin? Well, the only other way is through the Indian village at the head of the canyon. Sierra, you keep the horses out of sight while Bill and me takes a look across that bridge. Yes, sir, that suits me fine. That bridge don't look none too good to me. Down there, Buckskin. Yeah, and then some. 